My compost got too hot when I started aerating it, so can I limit aeration to control temperature? I will give six reasons why I'd love to reduce aeration to control temperature in my compost. Then I'll give four reasons why reducing aeration is a terrible idea. Reasons for reducing aeration to control temperature include, first, I'm really out of my comfort zone. I've never seen such high temperatures before. Second, I've learned that I lose microbial diversity when the temperature gets over 60 degrees Celsius. Third, my compost is drying out way too fast. Fourth, seems like such a waste to have big air blowers. Fifth, it's just like blowing air on a fire. If I blow more air, the fire only gets hotter. And six, speaking of fire, I'm worried that my pile will catch fire. Aeration can certainly result in very high temperatures in our compost. I have an example right here. We started aerating and the temperature rose to over 80 degrees Celsius. Let's explore what happens when we limit aeration to keep temperatures around 60 degrees Celsius. There are four things to consider. First, microbes produce heat when they decompose carbon. When we limit the oxygen to maintain 60 degrees or less, we're limiting their activity and slowing decomposition. Second, compost is a really good insulator, which means that once our pile reaches 60 degrees Celsius, very little microbial activity is required to maintain this temperature, depending, of course, on the amount of air movement in the pile. Third, by starving the microbes of oxygen to control temperature, we're favoring facultative anaerobic microbes and not the aerobic microbes that we prefer. The decomposition rate is much lower and these anaerobic microbes produce compounds that are more likely to cause odor. Fourth, we're limiting the activity of the actinobacter, microbes that are experts at decomposing the more resistant carbon compounds. They operate when there's adequate oxygen at temperatures around 60 degrees Celsius. You may have seen actinobacter at work. Often we see them in a small band near the surface of the compost where the temperature and oxygen is right for them. If we provide enough oxygen and control temperature, these actinobacter will be present throughout the compost. My compost pile overheated only because my aeration blower was too small for this pile. I was using what I had available. Higher energy materials such as food waste or poultry litter needs a lot of air. In the next video, we will address the comment that I've heard a few times. When you provide so much air, you're not composting, you're just drying out the pile. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.